Hey there, Metal Detector Nuts. Out at a school. Uh, first time we ever detected this one was yesterday. I probably should have had my camera out, but I didn't. Uh, did find myself, I found four silver dimes, uh, three rosies, and a, a war nickel. The guy I was with yesterday, John, he found a Merc, 44 Merc, and a 64 Rosie. The one Rosie he did find was right up here somewhere. The reason we're at this school, uh, they shut it down. We did find some old history. There was an old school on this property. I believe the late 1880s was the first school that was on here. Burned down in 1909. They rebuilt it by 1920. And they just tore it down in 2012. Looking at this school, you'd never guess. You'd think this is a fairly new school. Probably 1960s, maybe late 1950s, if that. Uh, did find a wheat penny out in this opening here. So we, we're finding stuff scattered, but I'm not finding anything really old. I'm guessing it's here somewhere, but we're not sure where. I'm gonna short, show you around here, um, and I'll show you kind of where the old school sat. Okay, so we got an old ball field. Way back in that corner, right in that corner is where that old school sat. Yesterday we came in, just started detecting, and I found silver dime up over here, a couple scattered over here, and then the war nickel was over there. Uh, the mark was somewhere in here that was found yesterday. Wheat pennies kind of scattered, not a whole lot of wheat pennies. Uh, but the interesting thing is everything was only inch to two inches down, so fairly shallow. Um, as you look around, this is all open. I'm gonna show you the uh, picture from the 30s, the aerial photo, it shows the building in this corner, right down here, with nothing up in here. This is all open field. All the way through here. It even is open way back by those pines, way in the back. Uh, the hillside and all that was not there in the 1930s. Ever. In that map, if you notice, Right on top of this hill, it looks like they've been trampling it down quite a bit in the 1930s. So today I'm going to focus up here a little bit more where the school was. I'm going to try the 30-30. Yesterday I used the Knox. Today I'm going to try the 30-30 and I'm going to work my way up and really check out this hillside because it looks like they did some playing around back in here. So that's my plan. All right, finally got one. Over in there is the corner where the school was. Uh, just kind of came up through the top here. I did circle around all the way over that hillside. Nothing was up on that hillside. A couple bullets in there. But I do have a silver now. Let's check and see what it is. It's a thin one. I really hope it's silver. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's aluminum. Oh, it's a Merc. It's a very worn Merc. Let's see. How's that worn? Let's take a look. 1917. About four inches down. A little deeper than the ones were yesterday. All right, let's find some more. Right here in the corner where the school was. Dug down, I had a little Indian head signal sound. We got this little religious term with a plastic heart on it. Whoop. It's hard to see, but it's stamped sterling on there. All right, look for some more. So, I've been just going up and down, back and forth, kind of gritting, but not really. Uh, found Wheat Benny uh, 51, I think it was a 51 uh, Canadian penny. The Merc dime was way on that end, the silver was way on that end for the religious pendant, and I just got another religious pendant. I kind of cleaned it up already. Uh, believe it's aluminum I'll test it when I get home but still neat find it was down there a ways deeper than what a lot of this stuff has been keep going there's been a little bit of a rough go at it so far been back and forth the school is up in that corner um, about halfway done with what we hit the coins on yesterday did get another wheat set wasn't very far down so that's pretty cool it's getting hard to detect uh 
Got a lot of the signals out of here yesterday. Um, other than that, just kind of pecking away. You can see all these spots in here. Those right there, that's all where like skunks or something have dug this up. They sold or got rid of the school last year. No school was held here. Um, so we're just kind of pecking away. You can see a lot of the dead grass here. We can tell that they let the grass get tall and uh, we have to hit it soon here. Just today, I think it grew about one to two inches. It's quite a bit taller than it was yesterday. Uh, so we're gonna just keep pecking away here. Probably won't get too much of it uh, in the future. So we're gonna get as much as we can. See you in a bit. Okay, still going at it. Over there was the uh, school. Come through, I hit that last uh, wheat penny on my last trip down, right in here somewhere. Come back through, and I got another silver. All right, silver number two for the day, not counting the, the one to 1963. So I got some theories, maybe I'll tell you at the end here, uh, different theories on why we're finding what we are, why it's so shallow. Um, just theories. All right, on the next. Well, it's been about three seconds later. Right here is where I found that uh, last rosy. Stood up, swung, had another sound, and I got another silver. Debating on live digging, I was like, ah, it's not gonna be a silver, I'm not that lucky. Is that a 54? Sweet, silver number three. All right, keep going. Still going along. What? Filming. And I uh, got another ring. Got one yesterday. Another junk ring. But uh, kind of cool looking. Missing the stone. This is going to be a copper junker. That's cool. Something different. All right, on the next. Still going along here. Got something else. Another ring. Crazy. Looks like another copper ring. All right, on the next. All right, metal detecting nuts. So I covered from the road down to where the old school was, all the way up into this hillside before it drops down into the little ditch down there by that other field. Um, that's pretty much what I covered. Everything I got that I'm going to show you in the wrap up was all from that. So see you in a bit. So here's what we got. Ended up with uh, three silver dimes. Those are you all saw in the video. Uh, three wheat pennies. Did get this uh, 1951 Canadian penny. A little junk jewelry. The rings. Pull a couple junk rings out. Uh, this one appears to be aluminum. This one is stamped sterling. So that's pretty cool. I'm not sure what this is. Maybe part of a belt or something like that stamped with a 24 on it. Looks like the letter D. And then the clad. One of the reasons we kept digging where we were, um, there's my junk. But uh, one of the reasons we kept going, usually I don't dig the real shallow coins. I'm kind of a, one of the cherry pickers when it comes to silver. But uh, we kept finding these coins all in the 60s. And a lot of them. This is a 59 uh, Memorial. I believe this was like a 55 or something like that for a nickel. So we kept finding all these older coins. We knew eventually it's going to pay off with silver. So yesterday we found those uh, silver there. Today we came back, got a couple more. Nothing real old, nothing from the old schools, but what do you do? So the theory I've got about the school was, uh, even though it was really old, at 1800s, it's a really, it's in the country, it's rural, and it's a poor community. So back then, the kids that would have been there, which would not have been very many, um, they didn't have money, so they weren't losing anything. In the 50s, in 1958, when they consolidated, probably about the same time they built that school, brought the other schools in. We started getting more kids, even though they still didn't have a lot of money. You did have more of them there. And that's why we're seeing these coins where the old school would have been, um, fairly shallow. 
they tore that school out, the old school in 19, uh, uh, no, 2012 it was. 2012, they just tore out the old school. And in that area, we're finding all these coins fairly shallow. They may have ripped the ground up a little bit, who knows um, on that. But most of the coins there were from the mid to late 60s. So when we find the, the rosies out there, the silver rosies, that's kind of what we were getting or some of our better coins that Merck extremely wore down. It's a 1917, but very, very wore down. So extremely happy to get it. Uh, new place, new school. We're hoping to get the old stuff, but I don't, I just don't think that the people there had the money to be losing uh, anything old. Probably didn't bring it to school. You weren't going to bring your pennies to school if you didn't have any. So, all right. Happy hunting, everybody. See if we can go find some more in another adventure.